problem because they're blacklisted very fast. But for example, group sex, threesomes, extremely common. Swinging, very common. The questionnaire details all the yeah. So in totality, I would say that I haven't come across a narcissist who doesn't have a disrupted or unusual or atypical sexuality. That's as a rule. Miért nem működnek a hagyományos terápiák, és a kolt terápia, amit Sam dolgozott ki, az mit nem működik? What do you think? Why does it doesn't work previously the any other therapies and why cold therapy, which is your product, why does it work? Why is it different from any other therapy? Why the others are not working? <laughs> That's much easier answer. They're not working for two reasons. One, narcissism is not a personality disorder. If you try to treat the personality, you will fail. Narcissism is a post-traumatic condition. It should be treated with tools that we use to treat trauma. And the second reason is that the therapists relate to the narcissist as an adult. They talk to the narcissist, they negotiate with the narcissist, they reason for the narcissist, with the narcissist, they make agreements with the narcissist, they try to convince the narcissist. It's useless. The narcissist is not an adult. In any way, shape or form, by the way, not cognitively, not emotionally, not, he's not an adult. He's a child. And what remains to be seen, if he's a child four years old, or six years old, or maximum nine years old. I've never come across a person who is more than nine years old, older than nine, even when he's 80. No such thing. To relate or communicate with a narcissist as an adult is to set up the therapy for failure. This is not an adult. It's exactly like you would take a nine-year-old and administer to him CBT. It will not work, simply. And indeed, it doesn't work. We need to use with the narcissist child psychology techniques. That is the excellent news. The excellent news of this. We don't know how to treat personality disorders. We don't. We know how to treat borderline personality disorder with a technique called dialectical behavioral therapy. But we have zero success with anything else with all other personality disorders. We are a total failure at this. But we know how to treat trauma very effectively. We have many ultra-powerful tools to deal with trauma. We are almost 98% successful with trauma. So if we begin to think of narcissism as trauma, suddenly we have many weapons, which are perfect weapons, and we can cure and heal. You know. Second thing, child psychology is a very well-developed field, actually preceded adult psychology. But child psycho in child psychology, we have 200 years of tools, instruments, experience, knowledge, and we are very, very successful with children. Much more than with adults. Much more. So, if we treat the narcissist as a child, this is excellent news, because we know how to work with children. We are a success at this. Here are two successes. Trauma, child, put them together, and you are likely to cure narcissism. Of course, if you target narcissism in the wrong way, as a personality problem of an adult, you will get nowhere fast, and that's precisely the situation. Other therapists, using other techniques, get nowhere fast. They have zero results with narcissism. Zero. Actually, the irony is, most of these therapies need therapy after their work with narcissists. I'm not kidding you, by the way. It's a technical term. It's called burnout. Most therapists who treat narcissists attend therapy after that. The experience is so absolutely devastating to them. What the hell? It's a joke. You know? You're doing something wrong. 70 years is not enough. I mean, you're doing something wrong. Wake up. But there's grandiosity in the profession. Narcissistic defenses. They know everything best. They will not learn from victims. <clears throat> they will not listen to amateurs. For 15 years I was considered an amateur. Never mind that to start with I'm a narcissist, so I have inside knowledge. I have studied more narcissists than, than all psychologists in the, in the world combined. You have studies of narcissism with six narcissists, with three narcissists. Are you kidding me? I have 1,560 databases. You know? uh, I'm trained. 
I have academic degrees in physics, in philosophy, medical doctor, and so on. But all this is not enough. I don't have a degree in psychology, so I'm an amateur. For 15 years, they refused to listen to anything I had to say. Only five years ago, they woke up. And now I'm a professor of psychology, I'm this editor or editor of magazines. Now I'm getting all the honors and all the and my work is used. But don't you think that 15 years is a pathological reaction? To wait 15 years to adopt new knowledge is a defensive pathological reaction. And indeed, it's my impression that among these professions, therapists, psychologists, there's actually an overrepresentation of narcissists. In my view, there's a lot of narcissism in these professions. And many of these people went to these professions because it gives them power over patients and patients' families. Not pleasant, but the truth. Mit kell tudni akkor a kolt terápiáról és a Budapesti 2020. februári 5 napos kolt terápia képzésére? Kiket vár? What do we need to know about generally call therapy? And in February, when you can have the seminar in Hungary, uh, what kind of people would you like to, to come and visit? I'm not elitist like uh, other psychologists. Anyone can come, as far as I'm concerned. Not, every, not everyone can receive a certificate. For that you need a degree, and so on, or practice, a degree of practice. But as listeners and so on, Anyone is welcome to come. Um, some acquaintance with narcissism would be helpful, although the seminar starts from zero. It explains narcissism, the old theories, I review the whole theories. Then I explain, it's just, they, they send a narcissist. Yeah.